Hey, in this example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding an item to the UI menu that's going to be able to remove duplicate rows of content within the spreadsheet. And this is going to be done using Google Apps Script. So give an example of how that's going to work. So we've added a trigger to the UI that's going to add this tab. We've given it the tab a label of plus. So we select that and that's going to give us a listing of the functions. We only have the one added and then just remove dupe rows. So when we click that, what it does is it runs the script in the background and removes any duplicate rows of content. And this will work across other sheets. So if we have number of rows of content that are duplicated and we click the button, move to the sheet, make it the active sheet, and we can remove the duplicates from those sheets and it's going to overwrite and clear out the content and then set up that new set of content with the duplicate rows removed. This is the script and the script editor that we're going to be using in order to add this functionality to our spreadsheets. This example, we're going to be looking at how to remove duplicate rows of data from your spreadsheet using Google Apps Script. So let's go ahead and select the new creating a brand new Google Sheet. And we're gonna add in some just random content into the sheet, as this is just for an example. We'll just call it example one. And I'm just uh, adding in some random values into the spreadsheet. So we have something to work with, and I'll add in some duplicate values. And then we'll look to use Google Apps Script in order to remove out those duplicate values. So this is gonna be creating this project using a bound script. So under Tools tab, select the Script Editor and open up the Script Editor. I'm gonna make the screen size bigger so it's easier to read for the recording. And we'll call this Example 1 as well. So just rename it as Example 1. So we wanna be able to run a function that's going to check and remove out the duplicates. I'll call it dupes remover. And first off, we need to select the sheet that we want to use. And using the spreadsheet app, we'll select the active sheet. Since we are using the bound script, we're able to use the active sheet. So active sheet is the whatever sheet we currently have open. And what I'll do is I'll duplicate this sheet as we're going to be overriding the contents of the sheet. So as we're running the examples, we'll have different active sheets that we're working with. Next up, we want to get all of the values. So we want to get all of the data that's contained within the spreadsheet. So taking the sheet object and then using the get data range method, we want to get all of the values that are contained within the data range. So that's going to return it back as an array. And you can use the log or log to get a closer look at the data that's being returned back. Let's run the dupes remover. So right now what it's going to be doing is it's going to be connecting to whatever the active spreadsheet, getting the data that's contained within the spreadsheet. We need to accept permissions for the script to run and access the sheet data. So let's run through the permissions, selecting the Google account, and this is the one that I'm currently using in order to run the script. And then under Advanced, go to the name of the sheet, which is example one, and these are the permissions that are being set. At any time, if you want to remove access, you can go over to the myaccount.google.com permissions, and there you're gonna see all of the apps that you've provided permissions for for your Google account, and you can remove it, and it's gonna be listed as the name of the app script so in this case, it's going to be example one. So I'm going to go ahead and allow it because I'm writing the script and I see that I'm able to list out all of the content. So next up, we're going to use the data and for each, and we're going to iterate through each row of data. And let's uh, log out each row and run the script. So what it's doing is it's showing us each row of content. And we want to use that and create a brand new data. So this is going to be the data clean. So let's create an array 
where we can add in the clean data. And we have to have another loop where we want to check to see if there is a value there that's going to be already existing in the data clean array. So we want to loop through all of the data clean elements, each one of those items that are going to be within that row, and return that back as the clean row. So under the row clean. And we'll do a condition check to see if row if row clean and joining that together, so we'll do a, a joint using the join method, is equal to row join. And if it is, then that means that we did find a duplicate. So let's set a flag that we can update. And this is just going to be a Boolean. And this will indicate as we iterate through and we have a condition to check to see if each one of the rows in the sheet is going to be matching the current data that we have within the clean data. And if it's not matching, then that means that we're able to add it. And if it is matching, then what we want to do is we want to update and mark it that the Boolean is now true. And then it can continue to iterate through the rest of the items. And the result will be that for Boo, so now we can check to see if the value of Boo is true. That means that we don't need to add it. And we'll check to see if it's false. And that means that we should add that row of data to the data clean. So using the push method, we'll add in the row of content into the clean data. And the result at the end should be that we've got a fully cleaned up array. So within the logger log, we'll get the data clean array. And that should be the cleaned up version of the content that we've got currently got within the spreadsheet. So let's run the debugger and check to see what we've got as a result. So the result leaves us with one, two, three, four, five rows. And that means that the rest of them are going to be duplicates. And in fact, when we look at this, we do have five unique rows of content, and then the rest are duplicates. So the first four are unique, and then six is unique, and then all the rest are duplicates. So the script was effectively able to reconstruct and build a new array of clean data. So now what we can do is we can clear the contents because we've already got it stored within the array and then add and set that new range of content into the spreadsheet. So let's take sheet and we'll clear the contents from the sheet. So it's going to remove out everything in that current sheet. And then we can take the sheet and get the range that we want to write to. So the range that we want to write to is starting at position column one and row one. The content that we want to write, the number of rows that we want to write. So we've got a, an array of data clean. And this will have a length property to it. So we want to set the number of rows, the columns, so the number of rows, and then also we want to set the number of columns. And in order to get the number of columns, we can get that from the first item within the array with index value of zero and use that length property in order to set the range. And setting up this, this is the range that we want to use. And within that range, we can then use the range object and the set values function in order to add the data clean array now overriding and adding that content into the spreadsheet. 
So let's uh, select an active sheet. We'll run the code and we'll see what happens. So we ended up cleaning up the content that was duplicates. I'll add this to the UI and I'll set this as a function and run on the trigger of on open. So whenever the sheet is opened, it's going to select the UI object. So selecting the current spreadsheet app and get the UI object. So that will allow us to interact with the UI. Uh, for the UI, we're going to run the create menu and then the what we want to label the menu as. And I'll just label it as plus. And then the items that we want to add. So we want to add just the one function and that's going to be remove dupe rows. And then lastly, let's just add that to the UI. So we'll chain it together and add to UI. And when the remove dupe rows is clicked, the function that we want to run is going to be the dupes remover. And this is requested as a string value within the add item method. So now let's uh, add the you run the on open. So this is going to be triggered and it will automatically run, but you can also run it manually. Uh, so that just added this menu item here within the tabs. So you can see I've got a menu item called plus. And when I click that, it will remove the duplicates. So let's try it and we'll add in some duplicate content and hit plus and remove duplicates. And what it did is it actually removed the duplicates. Let's try it on the next active spreadsheet and then the last active spreadsheet. So effectively, we're able to clean up and remove the duplicates, so we've added this functionality into our spreadsheets.